I'm Carlos. I'm Alexi. And Just a couple of dudes in California. Yeah, this is my son. We're, we're the same height now. He's 12 years old. And we're going to explain you about our reverse osmosis system that is off grid, which means that it's not connected to the tap or is not connected to the electric grid. It's solar with these panels we have right here. Okay, Alexis, so what do we have here? You put this together as far as I understand. So this is, uh, um, this is basically what is back there with the reverse osmosis system for the house. Yeah, what is under that cage and all of that. So we don't want to take that out. And we're showing you here in a more cleaner, uh, a cleaner copy of it. Yeah, so the first thing, uh, there's a pre-filter and then a 12-volt automatic shutoff pump. Yes. And exactly. then it goes to a pressure accumulator. Yeah, a pressure accumulator tank. And then it goes to a water filter here. Yeah, so that that is before the reverse osmosis. And from here, we have an adapter. This will go to the quarter inch tubing for the reverse osmosis. Basically, this does 55 PSI, which is tap water pressure and we power it with 12 volts from one of our solar generators using something like this, which is, is, um, is the, the waterproof connector and this goes to reverse osmosis DC uh, cigarette lighter charger. So Alexi did all these connections, put it all together here in this, in this uh, board, cut all the hoses and put it all together himself. So he's 12 years old, keep that in mind. So what is this? Uh, well, this is the 55 gallon container where we're getting the water from. It has a siphon, basically pipe. It goes down and it fits that pump we showed you. And it throws the water inside to the reverse osmosis system. There is a feed system here that when the, the water level goes down, it basically has a little floaty valve and it fills up the thing again. Okay, so the reverse osmosis system here um, consists of a few parts, right? We have the five stage reverse osmosis system. So that's it. There is a little pressure tank that keeps the pressure going here. So whenever you want water on demand, it will have pressure coming out of here. But an important part of this is that we have a UV light you can see the UV light is here. And this is right before the, um, the faucet. So it sterilizes the water in case for whatever reason. So that um, sterilizes the water. So the water that comes out is pure. I mentioned why is it recirculating? It's because the way these systems work with tap is that the tap pushes the water but it doesn't push all the water through. It only pushes one gallon and four gallons will go to waste. Usually these things are connected. The, the, the waste will go directly into the sewer. The way we did this is that we send that waste back into the reservoir, the 55 gallon bottle you saw outside. That way it still is used to, 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 use, to create pressure and it gets filtered anyways. Nothing is going to be worse. It just basically is a mass of water that is being filtered. And instead of dumping it, we're recirculating it by throwing it back into the same, um, the same uh, container. So we're going to be testing the, uh, I guess, the health of the water. It's 110 total dissolved solids in the barrel and the pH. Shows it at seven, seven point one. That's the barrel. Okay. Now we're testing the. This is tap water that yeah, I have here. The TDS and the pH in the tap water. Yeah. So tap water pH is about seven point four, seven point seven, seven point five. That's the pH of tap water. Okay, so it's neutral. And the TDS of tap water is 122, 
okay? So that's tap water. Now we get water from the Dolores Osmosis system and It's showing 7.8, 7.9 pH, right? And the uh, TDS is showing 11. So that's some good water. Yeah. So the, the conclusion of having this uh, reverse osmosis system is that even if the water get shut off we still have pure water to drink we have 55 gallons uh, of water to process and have to drink uh, we don't need the pressure from the tap to to run the reverse osmosis because we put a, a pump there and we're using electricity from the sun to run the pump but we can put, put any fresh water there and it will come out of the other side uh, pure not difficult